what's going on guys uh doing a five ton train system here and uh kind of in a tight spot where i gotta work my line set and all that but i'm uh getting it fitted up and fixing to make an expansion right here and tie these line sets in I'll try to shoot what i can i hadn't done a video in a while we've i've been busy just like the other fellas you know that's why we hadn't been putting up no videos we've been extremely busy and uh but i'm gonna shoot what i can and uh little five ton train system here new condenser new gas furnace new evaporator whole, whole new setup so uh i figured i'd shoot this real quick and like i said guys i'll shoot what i can for y'all all right guys like i said i'm shooting what i can i got the system brazed up here we got a here we've made a bend with the bender and uh, two expansions with the expander i've got the system on a pressure test right now and uh on the testo 550 yeah i got the testo and this is one of the reasons i bought it i really like this future here i got on the pressure test with the time clock um so i really like that so the system's on a pressure test with my new testo 550 um i'm gonna i'll explain to y'all why i purchased the testo 550 <laughs> but um i like them they're awesome much smaller than the s man I still have my S-Mans, but like I said, I'll explain that to y'all later on of why I purchased the uh, Testo 550. So she's been uh, 10 minutes. She's been holding at 219.9. It's only dropped a tenth, you can see there. So we got a good tight seal. I'm going to let it hold for about another 10 minutes, and then we'll suck a vacuum on her. So uh, I'll get back to y'all. All right, guys, now I got the system in a vacuum. Pulling down nicely. Let's see if I can get down to the gauge. Uh, I can't even see. It looks like we're at about 297, 292. So we're getting there, getting close to start up. And uh, once I get it started up and start setting the charge, I'll get back to y'all. All right, guys, I just fired up the train. Got my new Testo 550 on it. And it just started up, so it's going to be running a while. We'll let her run and uh, we'll set the charge where she's supposed to be and uh, that'll be just about the end of this one and like I said I'm sorry guys I know this is probably gonna be a short video and it's probably not gonna be my best video but I've just been so busy I'm shooting what I can for y'all so uh, I'm gonna let this thing run all right guys I had to add just a little bit of refrigerant which you know which I figured I would but uh, everything's coming down nicely um, Target subcool on this uh, train system is 10, and as you can see right here, we're at uh, 8.3, 8.1, with a 14 degree superheat. So the TXV is working great. Pressures look good. Uh, T1 is 57.9, T2 is 94.3, which is just your direct from the clamps, you know, on the suction line and the liquid line. The evaporator is at 43.3. Uh, condenser is at 102.9 so uh, everything looks good uh, I love the testos and um, if it stays right there in that range I probably will not mess with it I'll probably let it go because um, you know it is plus or minus three on these train systems so uh, that's just about it for the train and uh, Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I know it's probably not my best one, uh, but I did what I could. So uh, thank y'all for watching. And uh... All right, guys, here's a quick shot of the indoor. New transition. All mastic up. Secondary drain pan with float switch. There's the coil. Here's our furnace. But uh, I want to give y'all a shot of that real quick. This is the one, Zach, I was telling you about where the, uh, this, this is the customer that never had an emergency drain pan. This is the one where all his equipment was sitting on the platform. There was, it wasn't on furnace stands like we did here. And this is the customer's house whose ceiling flooded. And uh, this is what we did. We picked everything up on furnace stands and 
got emergency drain pan under here with a float switch and did it the right way. So, uh, give you all a shot of that. Alright guys, another one bites the dust. Another train XB13. This is a five ton gas furnace and cased horizontal coil. Should come out sweet. There's a line set coming out the wall, bend down, bend into the unit. Sweet looking job. Alright, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all on the next one.